Kingston 25. Click subscribe. That's right. Kensington 25. Hello, how are you going? Welcome to Kensington 25. I'm here with two of my favourite YouTubers, Hot for Maldehyde or Hot for Maldehyde. Hot for Maldehyde, sometimes known as Colin. And uh, hi, YouTubers, good to see you. And good day, it's the Saint here. How are you? Here we are at the Continental Pastisserie in King's Cross. Isn't it great? Just off Victoria Street near Una's. Great place, mm -hmm. great hot chocolate, great coffee. Come along, check it out. Yep. Come here in spite of Clovermore who is trying to close the place down. Um, this is the city of villages and this is a village cafe. Come here, the coffee's actually good and the cakes are even better. Yes, I can't recommend it too highly. And uh, yeah, I just noticed a gent running it is actually on the phone in there. Maybe he's calling the police and have a big scandal. You know, I think he's the, the, uh, the he's, he's a real French cook. <laughs> and they've got so uh, cafes like this in England, but I would imagine they'd be quite full. Now, Keenan can't make it tonight. He should be here, who is uh, um, <coughs> William's uh, friend. Now, it's been three days and he hasn't been here. What's it been like um, waiting? It's been absolutely terrible. At least I'm here, I'm at home, I've got shelter and everything. He was supposed to be back here. He was supposed to leave Dublin on Thursday evening. He's still waiting for his flight. Thankfully, he's got a friend to stay with. And it looks like the earliest flights at the moment we can get on Friday from Heathrow, but we've still got to get him from Dublin to London. Everything's closed off. It's had a back-to-back -back effect on everybody. There are people stranded, groceries and food aren't getting to the UK. And since the war, we've really known nothing like it. It really is almost unprecedented. And this is all volcano-related activity, I think? Yep. Yep, it is. You know, first the Icelandics bugger up the banks, and now they're buggering oh, up they the did, world. They did too, didn't they? <laughs> yes. Yep. They have novel ways. It's interesting, yeah. I guess it's like the old science fiction comment on all the technology we have, and it just takes one act of nature, and then it's all ground to a halt. A terrible halt. But they do have Bjork. Um, so, um, yes. Can you imagine all of those ash particles that are hot that have a laced with ice and they hit the ground and to the sound of Bjork? Um, that is really quite bizarre. Uh, it's oh so quiet. <laughs> Shh. It's all so still. Shh. And that's all you hear, you don't hear any planes, you just hear Bjork, you know. It is bizarre. I heard a story on the BBC today about somebody, a couple of brothers who had to fly to Sydney. Mm. and then go to like Zurich and then get a coach to Calais now they're waiting for a ferry to get to London for their mother's funeral it's been a bloody journey but this is what people are going through but there are many people who are stranded and I've got to say if you're in Europe I am thinking of you sounds like the Monty Python team could do their <laughs> comeback feature film like all that stuff about going from Zurich to yeah, yeah. wherever all over the place that could be a big comeback for the Monty Python team is it an insurance company called Zurich? What is it? Ziggy is from Zurich? Mm. <laughs> I couldn't tell you. And but of I'd course, rather have um, a bowl of cocoa. Pops. One of the guest artists on my old channel um, was Yurik from Zurich. Uh, remember <laughs> Who is Santa Claus, He had a crack yes. at doing Santa Claus while he was yes. here. <laughs> yeah, Yurik yes. from Zurich. <laughs> We've yeah. all had a crack at doing Santa, Santa Claus, Claus, but the beard gets in the way. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bravo, young man. Bravo, bravo. Well He's always said. got a full sack. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but he only gets to come once a year. He yeah. does. <laughs> a bit like Christ me. For that. <laughs> I know it, the feeling. But it does prove why it's better to give than to receive. <laughs> well, I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> a bit of controversy here, obviously. Conflict. <laughs> Conflict, yeah, 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 yep. yep. Well, if you ever want, if you ever, um, if you ever thought of doing a job with Santa, just say no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think it's... Um, Probably best avoided, like, unless the therapy really isn't working. <laughs> yeah. You'll certainly need it after that job, that's for sure. Mm. And that would be a hell of a job. You know, his stomach gets in the way as well. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he's seen it for years. Yeah. You try catching a train from Bankstown to Sydney with that outfit and stay alive, I tell you. <laughs> I think try getting from the men's room on level 5 to level 4 or whatever. Yes. You know, that's, that's a bit of shame. I see red, I see red, I see red. red. Red, white and blue. <laughs> Red, white and blue. Red, white and blue. Yeah. What does it mean to you? 
Surely you're proud, shout it out loud, Britain's away. God bless America. Oh, no, it's a British song. Mm. <laughs> God save the Queen. Yeah. <laughs> she ain't a she human can't being. fly anywhere now. <laughs> She's stuck, well and truly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it just takes one roaring volcano and everyone's days ruined, isn't it? It is like a Gordon Brown volcano. It's so boring. Maybe you know? it's part of the election campaign. He sort of decided, well, look at me. At least I'm better than a volcano. <laughs> <laughs> and at this stage of the game, that's probably the best you can hope for. What's yeah. the one that looks like Andy Pandy that's running for the Conservatives? Is that David Cameron? David Cameron. Such a looker. He reminds he's, me a, he's a very good filmmaker, I must say. Brilliant filmmaker, and I adore his wife. She's ravishing. I have I've a heard crush that. on Samantha Cameron. Adorable. If I ever get married, I want to marry Samantha Cameron. So he, he filmed Avatar, didn't he? Did he? Yes, no, that was his brother James. <laughs> oh, that's James Cameron. Yeah, Rob Cameron. Yeah. Brothers and best buddies. Mm, mm. So, and of course, Terminator James Cameron, Titanic James Cameron. All oh, this information that everybody Cameron. knows. Which means absolutely nothing at all, yeah. really, doesn't it? I never liked Titanic, they kind of went overboard. <laughs> mm. I felt it sank about you know, halfway through. It, it, and, uh, speaking of the British, British, British Labour cold. Party, I mean, yeah. But it made waves. It made waves. <laughs> it certainly made waves. It did leave me a bit cold at the end. I yeah, it was, admit, it was the tip of the iceberg. It was the tip of the iceberg. The tip of the uh, iceberg. The trick is to I, sit I think, on the wardrobe. <laughs> I think the script was basically all at sea, really. Um, it was a little bit. Mm. I got. It was kind of floating at times. Yeah, yeah. A certain lack of uh, fluidity in the dialogue, if such a word exists. It probably does. And we've used it here tonight. Yes. It's very current. Current, yes. Yes, a, uh, a strong undertow of emotion. I could see this conversation is just sinking, you know. Yes, we've kind of got a nautical thing. We'll be happening. flooded by yes. complaints. <laughs> flooded, yes, yes. We're, we've put a damper on the whole evening. <laughs> a damper, yeah. <laughs> but of course, he wins. <laughs> um, look, you know, you, they, they, they'll be swimming to another channel at this rate. Uh, come on, guys, you must have one more. At sea joking. Iceberg! <laughs> We're all in the same boat. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> well, the orchestra hasn't played yet, has it? I mean, you know. <laughs> yes, but I'm sure the band will play on. <laughs> Last man down. <laughs> <laughs> What's that old saying? I'd rather go down on the Titanic. Ever heard that one? Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, only another to get <laughs> Isn't that it's an attack? Well, isn't in every right? film he makes, he cries. So would he cry if he did that? I mean, yeah, know. he did Mona Lisa, Leonardo Mona. DiCaprio. That was his work. Really? Yeah. What, the, the painting or the yeah, movie? the painting, Leonardo. Leonardo, Leonardo DiCaprio. Oh, yeah. that's, oh, you're starting to sound like <laughs> Stephanie. Uh, I think I'm still now. Don't Hello, you? where to get last? Look at our couple <laughs> twos. We better, we better go get back it? to the get Leonardo. <laughs> boom, boom boom. This is like boom. Hey Hey Saturday, isn't it? Boom boom. I think we better go back to the nautical here. You know, like, um, the pum is a worstest <laughs> common denominator of humour, isn't it? Really, I mean, no. Yeah. Right, yeah. Right. yeah Stefani has got some of these wonderful expressions, but I don't remember any right now. Yeah. Um. I guess it'll be like the new, next New South Wales election. It'll be going down with the is ship. Stephanie Galar running for premier? Is she or Stephanie Galar? <laughs> Fuck me, is she? Really? These are real people. <laughs> These are real people. These are real people with real stories. And, you know, for her electoral speech, she'll be talking for two seconds and then Anna Allen will just burst in and take over the conversation to talk about Fords or something. What are you doing, woman? <laughs> <laughs> well, I think it ended a bit of a... Bit of a area of controversy here tonight, obviously. Controversy? controversy. You're the one that's trying to take over my channel. <laughs> oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But um, you mean he stole my? I'm, I'm on Kensington's channel because he stole my password, and now he, now he's stolen St. Fletcher's channel. And thanks for the help with the edit. Oh shit, sorry. Um, it's not. Where were we? We were talking about shipwrecks. Yes, and, we were. Uh, bitch, you really are a true blue Australian, <laughs> aren't you? True blue Australian. Yeah. I mean, do I look like Sammy? I mean, my God. You're a fat Aussie. I don't know, I've been trying to keep trim. Yeah, it's not so easy at my age. Uh, I guess you're Jesse Matheson, are you? If only. <laughs> 20 years ago. 
<laughs> Hi, Jesse. Jesse Matheson. Call only, me. Only you're polite. <laughs> <laughs> Very polite. Call me. <laughs> well, we've discussed a wide range of topics tonight. Is there anything else that you gentlemen no. wish to bring to the attention of the viewer apart from... Apart from the apart from Premier's from hair. What do you think of the Premier's hair? Adorable. Which Premier? Isn't it? I just like the... Morris Yam. <laughs> It's, oh, like a, it's, it's like a ski... I thought you meant John Brumby. John, John Brumby, no, about... he's Victorian. Oh, we're talking it's about New South Wales Premier. He's supposed to be thinking of the woman. Uh -huh. I love her hair and I love that accent of hers. Is she American or is she Australian? <laughs> Mid-sentence it changes. It's adorable. It's what they call, I think you English would call it a mid-Atlantic accent. Cross-Atlantic yes, accent. Cross -Atlantic, and she can be very cross sometimes. Yes. Yes. So, that's for sure. She can be very cross. Very cross. Right. Well, we're over 10 minutes, so we better go. Otherwise, William will have to edit, and he hates editing. So, um, it's God bless you. Talk to you later. I'm Kensington 25. Good night, and may your God go with you. See you later. Kensington 25. Click subscribe.